Hello, Captains. I am your host, Brent Justice, and welcome to my gaming channel, Just Gaming For Us. Today, I am continuing my Star Trek Online tutorial series. Today, we are going to play through the Romulan Republic tutorial as of summer of 2020 in Star Trek Online. This is a continuation of my series of playing through all the new tutorials in Star Trek Online as of 2020. Already I have done the Starfleet 2409 faction tutorial and I have also done the new Klingon Defense Force tutorial which now has updates as of the update called A House Divided which came out on June 30th, 2020. It is now July 2020 and I am doing the Romulan Republic tutorial and let's see what this looks like here in 2020. As always, I will be going straight through to the tutorial. I will not be spending any time in the character creation screen. This is purely for the tutorial. So once we get to the end of that tutorial, that will end the video. Let's see how long this one goes. So this is the Romulan Republic. This is the third ever faction to come out in the game. And uh, also very good storyline. So let's get into it. The Romulan Republic formed a space going fleet in the aftermath of the destruction of their homeworld. Initially tasked with defense, the Republic fleet, fleet turned its attention outward in an effort to establish a new homeworld. Your story begins as a survivor of the Hobus supernova on a remote colony on the outer rim of the former empire. That's a great start right there. I'm just going to take a default Romulan character. I am going to choose engineer because that's what I've been going with for every faction playthrough in this series. And let's hit it. Like I said, default will choose a random ship name and captain name. Let's begin. I don't remember if there's a cinematic for this one or not, but let's find out. Uh, yes, I'd like to play the tutorial. What we knew is gone. Yes, there is a cinematic. Our home, <laughs> our lives, all that we were, dust. Blasted across empty, heartless skies. But we live. Our legacy lives. Within every ship we fly. Upon every world we touch. In our hearts. In yours. There will be challenge. You will know fear. But you will overcome. You will survive. And answer vengeance with blood. You will do as you must. Rule cannot be handed to the faithless. Our legacy cannot be lost to villains. Bury the past to face the future. In enemies, find allies. There is no price we have not paid. No loss we have not felt. Our dead world, our long suffering, these are not ends. We are not ended. For your crew, for your people, for this new home, we must face all doubt. We must break the strong who would destroy us and overcome the impossible. We must fight against any and all. We must, we will, for we are Romulan. Yes, Star Trek Online, Legacy of Remus. That was a great cinematic. Absolutely great. I like that one. January 2409, two weeks before the Borg attack on Vega Colony. The youngest of our kind rely on stories to know what our people were like before. Strong, secretive, warlike. We were feared. We were powerful. Then, everything changed. 22 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova. The resulting explosion traveled through subspace to hit Romulus and Remus, our homeworlds. No one could have predicted that would happen, and no one could have stopped it. Millions died. Those who survived were scattered across dozens of worlds. 
One day, we were citizens of one of the greatest powers of the galaxy. And the next, we were just trying to survive. Every day was a struggle if you weren't part of the militant and oppressive Tal Shiar, or ruling everything from on high like Empress Sila. For ordinary Romulans, military victories don't mean much when you're hungry. Life goes on. The Klingons and Starfleet are at one another's throats, but battles light years away don't affect us much. The Tal Shiar are the more immediate threat. They're rebuilding the Empire by force, and pressing anyone they think can help into service. But even they don't seem to know we're here. We've put down roots, and found friends. Today we'll celebrate what we've created. With hard work and some good fortune, true Romulans will once again rise to be a power in the galaxy. The first step on that path begins here. A nice introduction. So you get a nice cinematic and then you get kind of an introduction to what has happened to the Romulan people. Your current tasks will be displayed here. Remember, this game is in the prime timeline of Star Trek and it does recognize what happened on um, the homeworld, uh, Romulus, to is move, gone. To use the W-A-S-N-D keys. To look around, hold down the right mouse button and move your mouse. So in this, uh, in this, in the prime timeline, Hobus did explode, traveled through subspace, destroyed Romulus and Remus. People you interact with have icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key, default F, to talk with them. Because there is no more Romulus and Remus, the Romulans have spread out and formed colonies and are a really, di now really spread out kind of uh, race. They're just all over the place and um, trying to survive. The ones that survived, you know. So this is uh, one of those colonies that we're starting off on, a free Romulan kind of republic colony. Um, and we're going to get into that. Actually, the storyline here is really cool. And the way that they have the government set up and the, all, all this going on, it's just really cool. But anyway, let's get to the tutorial. Uh, so just like the Starfleet 2409 faction, you actually start out on a planet. You start out on the ground, unlike the KDF faction, which started off on a ship. So this one is, uh, yeah, a colony on the ground, a Romulan colony. So very unique already. Again, we have the pop-ups that tell us what to do in the tutorial. I'm going to leave them on, though you can disable them. So we need to meet up with Tovin Kev. He is our first contact, and we can walk around, and you can look around. Um, very unique scenery. Very different than the KDF. Very different than the Starfleet faction. So it gives it a very unique uh, entrance here. Let's meet up with Tovin and see what he says. There you are. The security chief was looking for you earlier. She said there's trouble at the vineyard. Avrak's been filing reports all night about Kellids chewing at the vines. He's really worked up. Kellids in the vines? That doesn't sound right. Something must have annoyed them. It's not typical Kellid behavior. With the big celebration tonight, I think everyone's a little overexcited. Even the bugs. You should listen to one of Avrak's messages before you head out there. Sign into the nearby console and listen to Avrak's message. I'll look into it. Interactable items have a glow around them. Walk up and press F to interact with a console. Let's press F. Welcome, Teleth. You have three messages from Avrak. The second and third messages have been flagged as redundant by the system. Playing message one now. Please tell me you'll help me. Kellids are in the vineyard chewing through the irrigation pipes, and everyone says they're too busy getting ready for the big party to come and do something about it. There won't be any party if everyone's knee deep in water by nightfall. Get over here and help me fix this. Uh, let's listen to the second message. When are you coming over here? This is getting ridiculous. Nobody appreciates me around here. No one. They think these crops just grow without any help from anyone. Tending these vines is a lot of work. No one says thank you. No one pats me in the back. They just keep asking for more. God, look, just get over here and take care of the Kellens, all right? And maybe say thank you for all the work I do to keep these vineyards in shape. Let's listen to the third message, too. We could just go ahead and help, but let's listen to the third one. It's me again. Ignore the other message I sent. I lost my temper. I'm sorry. Maybe that's why you're not here yet. 
I really could use your help, though. These Kellogg's are chewing through everything, and they won't stop. Uh, no one here is even trying to help. They just keep bouncing me to other people. First to Tovan, then to Navala, then to you. What's that? Should I ask one of the kids? Just please come here soon. Thanks. All right. Tell Tovan you're going to help Avrak. So that's cool. It's like we have a, um, a little task to do here on the ground. Just a normal everyday task. Nothing big, nothing exuberant. We're not trying to, you know, join the academy. We're not trying to get our own ship. We're not trying to take over a ship like the Klingons. No, we're just doing an ordinary daily task. If the Kelids are chewing up the vineyard, you should probably grab a pistol, just in case. I'd join you, but the chief has me looking into some odd comm chatter we picked up yesterday. We'll have to catch up later. Okay. Your mini-map shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the mini-map if you are far away from your objective. So we can learn how to use the mini-map, we learn how to walk around, we learn how to interact with objects. We're gonna learn how to fire a weapon now. Your plasma beam pistol has been automatically equipped. You can practice on the nearby bottles. Select a bottle and then right click to attack it. So we can uh, do some practice shooting here to learn how to fire our weapons. Draw your weapon. So pretty much just like that, and I'm using tab to select the different targets. But yeah, that's how you do that. To sprint, tap the shift key while moving. Get a weapon and head to the farm. Let's go to the farm now, wherever that may be. So yeah, this is cool because it's like a whole world, a whole colony. I mean, this is uh, this is how they're living. Pretty nice. I mean, it's really nice. Very detailed too. Oh yeah, there's people you can talk with and interact with. Talk to Daral, Keeper of Lore. Hey there. Ready for the big festival? Working hard? Or maybe you have time to listen to a story or two? Hmm? Well, uh, I'm investigating issues with Kellids at Avrik's farm. Avrik! <laughs> You're in for a fun day. I'm glad I don't have to deal with him. Anyway, do you want to hear any stories? I mean, let's go ahead and take the time to do this, because if you're, you know, playing the tutorial as well, maybe you want to do this and listen to some of these uh, things. There's a lot here we can do and learn. Tell me the story about the origin of the Romulans. Almost 2,000 years ago, our people were Vulcans at that time. Vulcan was a world of war, with constant struggles between the tribes. Serac changed that. He taught that peace came through logic. And if you ask me, not all Vulcans get that right. Serac said that people should master their emotions, not eliminate them. But not everyone on Vulcan wanted to give up love, or passion, or even anger. The Vulcan said, these people marched beneath the raptor's wings. Instead of fighting their own people, these Vulcans decided to leave in an event we call the Sundering. They boarded great colony ships and set out into unexplored space, looking for a home where they could live and feel as they wished. Eventually, those who marched beneath the raptor's wings found Romulus and Remus. They created an empire. Although we share a genetic bond with the Vulcans, we are our own people. Never forget that. Want to hear another story? So that's very cool. Tells you right there the history of the Romulans, which is a very intriguing history. And as you play the Romulan faction, you actually learn a lot more about that, and it's very cool. Okay, tell me more about uh, our people after our planet was destroyed. The destruction of Romulus was a terrible thing. When we lost our home and our loved ones, we lost our soul. The people who survived were scattered and leaderless. Survival was a daily struggle. There were some fights for control before Empressila took over, but I never paid much attention. That Taurus woman was never going to get far. 
Now, Sila and the Tal Shiar are attempting to rebuild the strength of the Romulan Star Empire, but they do so with fear and oppression. Steer clear of them if you can. People like us should just try to stay out of the Tal Shiar's way. Life is more important than politics or power. There are a lot of Romulans who just wander from planet to planet because there's no place to call home anymore. We're lucky to have Viranat. This is a good place. A place to put down roots. Without that, we're just dust scattered by the winds of fate. Do you want to hear another story? So this place is called Viranat. Uh, yeah, tell us about the founding of this colony. Viranat was a colony world. It used to be a big agricultural planet, growing food for the Empire. After Romulus was destroyed, thousands upon thousands of people flooded the planet. The old cities couldn't hold them all, and they were scared. They started fighting amongst themselves. One night, the cities burned. Most of the survivors left. A few hung on, scrapping old ships and using them as building materials. That's how the Maori found them, about ten years ago. The Maori was the commander of an old warbird. Navala was his first officer, and Devex the chief engineer. They were wandering the sector, trying to find a new home. When they found Viranat, they decided to stay. Devex kept the old warbird functional, and he used it to make supply runs and bring back other Romulans who needed a home. Navala put herself in charge of security, and the Maori, he runs the whole colony now. Devex met Tovan Kev in a mining colony a few years back. I think it was uh, four years ago. But then again, I didn't come here until two years ago, so this is not just information I've heard about secondhand. I actually have a question for you, if you don't want to hear another story first. Hmm, okay, what is it? When did you arrive here? I know we only have a few hundred people living here, but so many come and go that it's hard to keep track. I I'm recording the stories of all the people that live here, you see. And I would love to start yours off with your arrival. Who knows? It could be something that becomes historical in a few years. So this is where you can kind of, like, make up your own little story here. You can say, I was living here before Devex and the Maori arrived. Or, I was part of the Maori's crew. Or, I was picked up by Devex a few years ago. Or, I've barely been here a year. Or, I'd rather not say, if you want to be sneaky. For me personally, I'll just say I've barely been here a year, but uh, you're welcome to choose an option and see where that leads in the dialogue, and I'm sure it has interesting uh, dialogue there. I've barely been here a year. Barely a year? That's right. You're one of the newer yeah, folk. Yeah, I'm new today. And you're already a security guard. Look sure. at you. I guess I am. We should definitely talk more about this over drinks See, tonight. I, I didn't even know what my position really is, but I guess I'm a security guard. Okay, I'll see you later. Um, I'm a citizen, but I guess I'm a security guard. Um, what level is that? Yeah, so, like, I'm... I'm not even level one. <laughs> so, yeah, we're at the very, very beginning. Anyway, this is really cool because it gives you background about the Romulans and, uh, this, this planet, this colony. They're on Viranat. I mean, it's very cool. I think that's the Maori up there. Yeah, that's him. So, uh, I think we'll hear from him later. So it's very cool to get all that background, and yeah, you can. This is an open zone, by the way. There's other players here because uh, they're playing the tutorial as well. You can replay the introduction cutscene if you want. This is just cool because you can explore the area, see what's around, maybe do some things. Uh, but we've already spent enough time. Let's go to the farm here and uh, start our next task: a day in the farm. Finally, I mean, uh, which message? Do you, oh. Never mind that either. It's chaos here. I need some help. Normally we collect nectar from the local kelet insects. But something has driven them into a frenzy. They're chewing on our irrigation system and flooding the vineyard. Um, I Excellent. will repair the Excellent. pipes. Uh, the broken pipes are obvious. They're, they're the ones spraying water everywhere. Kelet shouldn't give you too much trouble. Uh, a few bursts from your pistol will take care of them. Drive off kelets. And repair. So this gives us a chance to, you know, practice our weaponry and 
and repairing things. Pretty simple, really. Interactions can be interrupted by movement or combat. And it's letting you know that you can be interrupted if you're doing an action and you're attacked, you can be interrupted. Basically, remember, this is a tutorial. It's just teaching us how to use our controls. Well, now we need to speak to Avrak. The flooding has stopped, but if those Kellids come back, they'll just break the pipes again. Something's making the insects go crazy. With bugs this size, that's a real problem. And Avala might be able to help if she's not goofing off again. She knows all about Kellids. She's normally down by the greenhouse this time of day. Tell her to stop being lazy and keep these critters contained. I'll find out what Navala knows. Good idea. Talk to Navala. I bet she's just lounging around right now, not even thinking about all the damage being done to my vineyard. No one around here wants to put in a good day's work. Uh, well, except for you. Right, I'll get going. So now we need to find another person to talk to. Just go along this way. Here we go. Just in time. Did you talk with Avrak? He said that I'm what? Lazy? That I've been... Ugh! He's just trying to make me look bad so he can get a promotion. Oh, that's so old-fashioned. Let me tell you what's actually happening. Okay. The Kellids are going crazy. I've been working all day to keep them out of the residential areas. This aggressive behavior is new, and we need to figure out what's causing it. That means gathering samples from some of these creatures. Okay, well, I'll see what I can find. I need to uh, find clues by defeating Kellids. Enemies have a chance to drop items. This is telling you, you know, how to collect dropped items and stuff. Got a big one. Return to Navala with the sample. Okay. This metal has some kind of fungus growing on it that's similar to the spores we found on some of the Kellid carapaces. It might explain their behavior, but how are they getting infected in the first place? Also, the flying Kellids have never come out of the cavern before. This is so strange. Something might be happening in the cavern. I'll check it You're out. right. The source of the infection could be somewhere inside the cavern. Head over there and see if you can find out what's aggravating the nest. And be careful. Why is it always me? Seriously, uh, why am I always the chosen one? So we're going into the cavern, the nest of these Kellids. That's wonderful. Just wonderful. Go deeper into the hive. Sure. Easy for you to say. As long as they don't attack me, I'm okay, I guess. Okay, they're attacking me. Just as I say that. What the? Hmm, these are dead. Nope, that is not a Kellid. That is something different. A mystery. Investigate the source of the disturbance. Oh. Disable strange device. Well, I'm being attacked, so that's not helping. Oh, we got an unknown floating creature. Well, that's just great.
Well, it's doing a thing. And I'm back out. That was a quick way just to cut back, huh? Cut back out of that. A strange machine and some weird drone things? Hmm, that is troubling. Someone's been in there. We'll have to let the Maori know about this. It's good you disabled the device, though. Maybe now the Kellids will calm down. Mm, maybe. I took a look at those biological samples while you were gone, but I can't do much more than a basic tricorder scan. It's just not my area. Devex might be able to help. He was an engineer in the Romulan military before the homeworld was destroyed. Now he's helping us with our water supply and anything else that takes more specialized knowledge. You should talk to him. Sure. So that tutorial's done. Now we're doing the tutorial A Day in the Sun. We need to ask the Vex about the samples. So as you can see, we just get these little tutorial missions. You know, one pops up, you do it. Another one pops up when you complete it. As we do the whole tutorial itself. What do you need with an old space hound like me? Show the Vex the strange samples you found. Hmm. I have an idea of what this might be. Maybe. I saw something like this once before, when I was out beyond the Eridon belt. We responded to a distress call from a mining outpost. When we got there, all the people were just gone, oh. vanished without a trace. The only things we found were a strange beacon and some odd spore samples. These look very similar. So, if you're a different career, you can do different things. I'm engineering, so I can use the equipment to analyze the metal. Of course. Go forth and analyze. My equipment is all yours to use. Some missions in Star Trek Online will change based on your career track. Engineering, science, or tactical. Right. Okay, let's scan for information. Beacon remains analyzed. Let's see what he has to say now. I've only seen fungal biotech like this once before. Remember that mining station that I mentioned? Before we arrived, they reported several disappearances. Some thought it was paranoia, but we had reports that said intruders would beam in right through the colony's magnetic shield, right into someone's quarters, sedate them, and then vanish without a trace. We wow. didn't know what to believe, but I don't think those miners were paranoid. Something did happen to them, and it could happen again. You thought it was really related to this beacon? That's what my commander believed. We found a beacon with almost the same configuration as the one you found. We weren't able to get much from it before we shut it down. But the one thing we learned is that the beacon was made by a race that called themselves the Alachi. The Alachi. We stayed in orbit for a few days, but the Alachi never came back. That's good news for us, seeing that you disabled the beacon you found in the caverns. What do we do now? Tell the Maori what we found? That's right. He's the man in charge, so he needs to know. I'd be surprised if he doesn't want to send someone down there to analyze that beacon. Could be these Ilachi were interested in our colony for some reason. Lucky for us, you were there to put a stop to whatever they were trying to do. Okay, take our findings to the Maori. So the Alachi, they are possibly involved. A new um, potential threat. Interesting storyline developing. Let's talk to the Maori. Jolan True. I heard Avrak yelling all the way over here. I'm sorry you had to deal with his problems on our day of celebration. That's fine, but we have a bigger problem. Hmm, that does sound very mysterious. However, you seem to have taken care of the immediate problem, disabling this beacon and dispatching the drones. You have my thanks. It was my honor. I'll assign some engineers to examine the device and set up surveillance on the cave as soon as possible. If what Devex says is true, we don't want that beacon turned on again. Now that's settled, why don't you try to relax for a while? Enjoy the festival. We'll talk again tomorrow after the engineers have finished their analysis of the device. I'll do that. Thank you. So meet Tovin Kev when you're ready. So this just gives you some time to walk around. We can kind of do our own little thing if we want. 
But uh, we want to go back and talk to Tovan Kev now. I think he's back where we Contact started. Contact Tovan Kev by clicking no? on the Hail oh. Tovan Kev button. Nope, it tells you what to do right there, actually. Let's Are you done him. for the day? I'm just finishing up, too. I'm going to head back to the restaurant. Meet me for a drink when you're done. Yeah, it's cool. It's like we're just doing daily, you know, normal daily stuff. Hey there. Long day? Very long day, yes. Yeah, been great. I can't believe how far this colony has come. Just look at how much we can accomplish without being ruled by the Tall Shi'ar. Word is, someone named Atan is trying to fight them, but... Me? I'm content with what we have here. Let's go enjoy the festival. Sure. It's just a nice, lovely day. What could possibly go wrong? Friends and neighbors, welcome to the tapping. The Kellid nectar has been harvested, the ale is brewed, and we can finally taste the fruits of our labors. And like this fine vintage, our colony has taken time and effort to develop. Since the loss of the homeworld 22 years ago, we have known fear, hunger, and pain. We have struggled, and we have overcome every difficulty. We have mourned those who are no longer with us, and we have welcomed new friends into our home. And now we celebrate. The trials are behind us. Viranat is prosperous and growing. We will face new challenges in the future, but we will face them together. Yay, fireworks. And a mysterious ship firing torpedoes at us. I don't think that was planned. Hey, hey, are you hurt? We're under attack. I don't know who or why, but people are being rounded up and we have to do something. Perhaps? I hope to Vex get the shuttles ready. You should find Navala and Vorian to help organize the militia. So, get as I many guess civilians that is what can happen. Can. After that, we stop whoever or whatever is attacking our home. It was all good and fine and nice, and now, no longer nice. Just absolute chaos out of nowhere. Holy crap. Maybe these are the Alachi, who knows? Yeah, so, um, okay, now we're still in the tutorial. Viranat invaded. Resolve tutorial, Press doing another tutorial. To contact Tovan Kev to continue this mission. Yes, I would like to continue Come this in. mission. Come in! Are you alright? What's happening over there? Did you find Vorian? It's too late, he's gone. Where are you? I'm at the shipyard with Devex, and we're prepping the shuttles for evacuation. I don't know what's going on here, but we need to get people out while we can. If you can get a rifle, you can fight your way out. Can you make it? I'll make it. Just get the shuttles ready. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that is just so cool looking. That is a... I love the design of those ships. It's a really, really cool looking ship. Okay, anyway. Um, okay, we need to find a rifle. Rifle, where are you? Oh, here they are just laying on the ground. Mm, they sure didn't help that guy. Whoa, what was that? We need to call for help. I don't know who'll answer, but we have to do something. I tried to send a distress signal, but they damaged our transceiver array. We still have a chance, though. You need to deal with some of the tall Shi'ar, and then get a replacement battery. I'm on it. So let's make sure we have... Yeah, I think it did auto-equip our weapon, so that's cool. Um, okay, yeah, it's telling you how to slot weapons now that you got a new weapon, which it actually did for me automatically anyway, but sure. Okay. Whoa! They are taking people. They are taking people. You can switch between two equipped weapons by pressing Z. They just keep coming. Get a battery from the marketplace. We need to send out a distress signal. Whoa! I'm being fired on.
Whoa. These things are crazy. They're attacking people. They're snatching them. Pretty scary situation. The market. It's completely overrun. And the Tal Shiar are here on top of it. This is Kev. Do you have the batteries? Sure, I got it. You just need to repair the device and send the signal. So this is definitely teaching us combat, ground combat here quite a bit. We're being fired on in multiple directions. We have to fire in multiple directions and fight our way to a place to do a thing. The signal is strong. Get to the shipyard. We're getting out of here. Okay, we're here. The shuttle is ready, and I got as many people aboard as will fit. We have to go. So this pretty much like ends one part of the tutorial and goes into the next, and we're gonna get Tovin Kev as a bridge officer. Congratulations, citizen! Now we are literally a citizen number two. We are now ranked now. We're number two. We got a uh, got a rank up there. Board shuttle. Yeah, man. This colony just went to crap real fast. It was good while it lasted. Now we're aboard a shuttle. This is shuttle 5. We're taking heavy... Shuttle 10, coming in. We're jamming their sensors. When they get us, they'll think you were caught in this one. Whoa. Shuttles being taken down left and right. They... They're not attacking. Devex showed me how to fly his warbird. We're almost there. So we're headed toward a war warbird now. Maybe this is where we'll get to actually fly a ship. Look at these uh, damaged ships. Oh, we're getting an old warbird. Look at this. That's cool. Yep, we are gonna fly. Look at this old warbird. Navigation Isn't that is awesome? online, but we need some components to get our weapons and warp drive operational. We'll need both if we want to have any hope of fighting the Tal Shiar. I'll scan the old ships around here for what we need. Increase your speed using E. Decrease your ship speed by using Q. So again, now we're in space and we are learning how to operate and move around in space. Space combat stuff. And we already have Tova and Kev, so we have an ability, I guess. Ensign Science Station? And we also have Plasma Shockwave. Yeah, because that's part of our singularity power. Alright, scan for weapon parts. This'll do nicely. We just need a little more salvage. Use W and S to move up or down. Use A and D to turn left or right. And I've already put it on attack mode. I don't know if it will tell you to do that or not, or how what these powers mean, but they are important. And I'm going to leave it on attack, because I know we're going to have some combat. Weapons are online. Let's test them out on some of these derelict ships nearby. They're not shielded, so we can just use our torpedoes to finish them off. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. And I do have auto fire enabled. Still can't do full impulse. So we just have to wait till we get there, moving as fast as we can. And I also have a battle cloak, Romulan battle cloak on this. So 
So yeah, if you want to know what type of ship this is, this Use is a Talis Light who are not shielded. Talis Light Warbird. Warning, ship is under attack. Isn't that cool? Scrap Neutronium. We could use that to reinforce the hull of this old Warbird. Three more of these should get this hull good to go. Warning, ship is under attack. Good shot. Of course, it's a good shot. Warning. Ship is under attack. Loot the item dropped by the ship by flying toward it and pressing the Vex would be happy to see this old warbird get some use. Warning. Ship is under attack. I think it's safe to say weapons are fully online. I got the neutronium. Time to there take out okay. the tall Shi'ar satellites dead ahead. Use your plasma beam to weaken shielded targets. Right. Still can't go full impulse though. Let's see, we can increase our speed a little bit though. There we go. Warning, ship is under attack. Targets Use your torpedoes on an enemy when they're... You must be out of combat to hail Tovan Kev. The red alert message at the top of your screen will appear if you are in combat. Yay, I destroyed all of them. Great. All systems are go and full impulse is back online. I'm picking up a distress signal nearby. It must be people from the colony. More colonists managed to escape the surface. So you can stay here and practice if you don't feel comfortable yet, or let's go save the colonists. The distress colonists. signal is close. Searching. There! We have to help them! Now it's going to tell us to use, how to use full impulse, I guess. Activate full impulse by clicking on the arrow. D now we can go to full impulse and get there a little quicker. Turn off full impulse. There's a tall Shi'ar drone dead ahead. Yep. We gotta go uh, out of full impulse to gain our power back. Warning. Ship is under attack. Could've used the cloak, too. Hover your mouse over a weapon, and its firing arc will be shown around your ship in space. I'm back on the bridge, and I figured out how I can improve our torpedoes. Just give me the order, and I'll get started. Scanners are picking up more colonists and tall Shi'ar nearby. We have to rescue our friends. Good. Tovan Kev is here, and now we have his power. By clicking on the icon, or pressing Alt and 1. So now we have his power, but the they're overlapping. I uh, usually don't have bridge crew stuff on. I'm just going to move it over here real quick. All right. Um, yeah, now we've got uh, Torpedo High Yield. And that seems to be the same for uh, every faction so far. We get Torpedo High Yield first. Warning. Ship is under attack. High yield torpedo will increase the power of your next torpedo attack. Thank the elements. We thought we were done for. Okay, beam them aboard. Now we gotta go do the next one. Zero of three, so we have three to do here. 
That is no problem. Actually, I'm going to benefit from cloaking, even though it hasn't mentioned it yet. That is something we can do. Get our power levels. Warning. Up. Ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. Ooh, got him in like one shot. That's nice. Them aboard. Hell, Tobin Kev. I think it's safe to say we're a fully operational ship. I'm getting an alert. There's another distress signal coming in from one of the colony's shuttles. We can do a short range warp jump to get to them. Do you want to go now, or stay here to wipe out any other incoming drones? They look like they'll be coming in to do sweeps in the area. So, again, more practice if you need it, but let's go ahead and warp to the next area. So that was just basically teaching you how to uh, maneuver the ship and operate the weapons. There aren't any colonists here. Just this strange ship. I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's gigantic. Engineering reports that the ship has scanned us, but they're not responding to my hails. What should we do? We will scan them. We need to know who or what they are. We're going to have to get a little closer. Warning. Ship is well, under attack. that did a thing. They've done something to the ship. Nothing is responding. I can't even warp us out of here. I think I might be able to get a comm channel up to hail them. What do you want me to do? Open a channel and ask them what they want with our ship. We're getting a reply. What the... They seem to be rearranging our words and sending them back. Listen. Well? I'm picking up another ship. This one is Tall Shiar. It's decloaking. You get ready for a fight. Ooh, and it's a uh, Dideridex. Oh, did that ship just disappear? So Lachi were right. A handful of pitiful Romulan refugees managed to escape. Colonel Hakeev. When colonists learn that no matter how far you run, you cannot escape your obligations. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Colonel Hakeev of the Tal Shiar. On behalf of the Romulan Star Empire, I hereby lay claim to this colony and all of its inhabitants. Surrender now, and I will ensure that you serve us in the way you are most suited. So it sounds like he is in contact with the Alachi, so those are probably the Alachi, and he is with the Tal Shiar. Ugh. Uh, so you can give up. I'm sorry, we did our best, but... No, I'm Romulan. Never. We will fight with our last breath. Fire weapons at will! This is Tamara of the Romulan Republic. Tal Shiar vessel, stand it down immediately. Nice. Romulan Republic showed up. Ooh, nice. We got back there. Tamara! How fortunate! I can destroy both of you! Target's shields have failed. So it's kind of strange because here he says my eye. His eye is supposed to be damaged in this fight, but this image does not show a damaged eye. So they have a bug here that they really need to fix for the storyline because this makes no sense. Um, don't cross my path again, Hakeev. Be a little aggressive, 
there. I mean, after all, he did want to take me away and take over the colony. I am Tamer, commander of the Romulan Republic. We picked up your distress signal while on a mission in a nearby system. I would say we arrived just in time given your ship's condition. Who are you? And what happened here? Explain what happened at the colony. I am truly sorry. This is not the first time I've heard a story like this, and I fear it will not be the last. And these Ilachi creatures, they are troubling. We need to know more about them and why they're working with a snake like Hakiv. Indeed. As I said, I'm with the Romulan Republic. You may have heard of us. We are not the terrorists the Tal Shiar make us out to be. With our leader, Datan, we are working to gather survivors of the destruction and fight the tyranny of the Tal Shiar. We have a flotilla nearby. If you're interested, we would welcome you and your friends to join us there. So this is the Romulan Republic. Now, you can say I don't want to be a part of this war, but I, I think it doesn't matter. You ultimately have to join the flotilla anyway. But, uh, sure, let's just say I will help you. I appreciate your willingness to do what's right. I'm transmitting the coordinates of our flotilla to your ship now. When you arrive, we can repair your vessel and work out our next move. Thank you again. I'll make sure you won't regret your decision. Now this is a point where I have to say I wish the storyline did allow you to remain free. You know, not align with the Republic or the Tal Shiar and just be free. You know, on your own. Your own Romulan faction self. But then why would they have missions you have to go perform and, and, and for the Alliance and all this stuff? Wouldn't make sense then, so I get it. But it would still be nice to have that option. We'll talk about that at the end here. Um, it's my honor to assist you in your fight. I don't know how I feel about this, but I guess siding with Tamer is better than risking death on our own. And he did help us out with the Tal Shiar. The coordinates are loaded up whenever you're ready to go. I think the colonists we rescued are eager to get someplace safe. So it is nice uh, that they give you a good reasoning for teaming up with Tamer and this flotilla and joining the Romulan Republic. It at least is a good reason why we're doing it. But remember, on Viranat, we were, you know, we were not aligned with any government. We were just part of that colony. Now we're going to be basically aligned with the Romulan Republic doing missions for them. So something ominous there, maybe some, something left over we'll have to go check out in the future, I'm sure. But this is the flotilla. It's, uh, it's basically a flotilla of ships. And Greetings. We are on board I am Sub-Commander Nadell, assistant to Commander Tamer. Please follow me to the commander's quarters. There is much to discuss. And now we're going to talk about joining up with the Republic here. Still, again, part of the tutorial. Commander, our guests have arrived. Excellent. I'll get them up to speed. There is much to do. I'll be glad to show one of you around while the other stays and talks with Tamer. I'll take the tour and then meet you back on the ship when you're ready. Okay. So let's talk to Tamir. Flight from Virinat. Greetings. I hope all is going well with you. I'm here to join the fleet. Good to see you and Tovankev made it to the flotilla of the new Romulan Republic. To be brief, we are a group that was founded by Datan to combat the tyranny of Empress Sila and her Tal Shiar. Our goal is to unify the shattered Romulan people under a new democracy instead of Sila's tyrannical rule. There is much to do, however. I can answer any questions you may have. Of course, you could just continue on and not ask any questions. Just say, I'm fine, what's next? But let's go ahead and ask, what did Datan do to form the Republic? Ha! <laughs> What hasn't Datan done? He has quite the long history. The short version is that he desires to see the reunification of the Vulcans and the Romulans. That's something that Before Spock that wanted, happen, too. Though, Datan wants us to find a new homeworld, reconcile with the Remans, and end the centuries of oppression beneath the Tal Shiar. We're Romulan, and after all that's happened, we still have our pride and our cultural heritage. We need to be able to approach the Vulcans as equals, not as refugees looking for charity. Did you want to know anything else? In fact, in the TNG episode where uh, we see Spock on Vulcan trying to unify the Romulans and Vulcans to Ten is one of the Vul uh, Romulans that he's talking to that also agrees with him. So the Detan here in this game is actually from that TNG episode with Spock. So it's really cool how that all connects. 
Um, what's your role here? I am the commander of this fleet. No actions happen without my approval. Before this, I worked in intelligence for the Romulan military, which allowed me to learn more about the Tal Shiar. I couldn't stomach the thought of working alongside of them. Datan approached me one day and said he needed someone to organize a defense against the Tal Shiar. I accepted before he could finish his sentence. There you go. Is there anything else? Yeah, I wanted to see what he said about the reunification here. Ha! <laughs> what hasn't Datan, Datan done? Datan wants to unify Romulans and Vulcans. That's right. He dreams of a day when our two people are united. Well, three, counting the Remans. Datan was inspired by Ambassador Spock, who first began the movement. When he was a child, Spock was working on Romulus with the reunificationists, and he was Datan's teacher. Right, Spock was Datan's teacher. The Tal Shiar actively opposed reunification, and Spock and his people had to keep their movement hidden, working with allies and meeting in secret. It's been an uphill battle for Datan. But he won't stop until he sees the Vulcans, the Romulans, and the Remans reunited and at peace. So, is there anything else? It's not just the uh, the Romulans and, and and Vulcans. It's also the Remans. He's not forgotten them as well. No, I'm ready for what's next. What's next is that you receive our uniform and get a tour of the flotilla. Right. Uniform, After that, you'll flotilla. receive your first assignment. However, you must understand that by joining us, you mark yourself as an enemy to the Tall Shi'ar. So now we're at war. Akiva and his Shi'ar. people will see you as a threat, and there isn't anything they won't do to stop you. Are you ready to accept that? Well, I don't have a choice, and that's my issue, personally, is that we don't have a choice. We are basically forced into joining the Republic. I'm in. Good. You should get yourself down to Lieutenant Delatham. You can get a uniform from him if you want to change out of those civilian clothes. Okay. You can also have your ship modified. We can't get you into a more powerful vessel yet, but we can change the appearance of your ship if you want. So we're going to keep when that you're same done, ship. Return to your ship. I should have your first assignment ready and sent to your ship by then. So basically, now this is kind of where the tutorial ends. Kind of. Oh, you can still do a little bit more, but. We're going to get the uh, Romulan Republic uniform, so we can put on a new uniform. We're going to be able to modify our starship. It's still the Talis, the Talis war light warbird. That's what we're going to have. We get a new shield array and some energy credits. Congratulations, Boom. And a skill up. We are now Lieutenant 4, so we are in it now. We are an actual rank. We are a higher rank now. We've got more stuff. Lieutenant 4. Yes. So we're, we're this is it. Um... Now, explore the flotilla. Speak with Lieutenant Delathan to continue after. Now, you don't have to, like, do this explore the flotilla stuff. Um, I don't think. But we might as well, I guess, as part of the tutorial here, I might as well just go ahead and continue through that. So that we can um, at least get to the part where we're given our first mission. That way we can say we absolutely did everything we can do for the tutorial's sake. Your mini-map shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the mini-map if you are far away from your objective. Which is pretty much something it already said once before. I don't know why it's repeating that, but I guess it's just like, you know, really hammering at home all the things you can do. This flotilla is very large, or this ship we're on is very large. All right, let's, um... It's a pleasure to meet you. Everyone here has heard about, um our ship and what happened at your colony. I'm sorry you had to go through that, but that's what we are trying to stop. Someday settlements like Veranat will be safe. I'm a tailor, which means that I can alter your appearance and outfit. You've been authorized uh, a new thing, ready to try a new look, yeah. So, um, this mission will automatically progress when you choose to customize. You do not need to change anything about your appearance or outfit if you do not wish to. So we could just stay the way we are, but you could also optionally do this. So let's say now we have some new options here. Um, let's go ahead and put on our new outfit. I mean, why not? Let, well, let's do the... Um, you've got the uh, outfit one and the outfit two here. Romulan uh, Republic outfit. The flotilla one. I love... You can also do a rustic look or like a survivor look. Survivor warrior is pretty cool. But yeah, I like this one. I think that looks really awesome. So watch this. We're going to um, apply this to character and use this one. Yeah. 
Now look at us. That is very nice. We look official now. We're part of the Republic. Look at that outfit. That looks great. I really like the look of the, the Romulan outfits in this game. They do look good. Now we can do some more exploring of the flotilla. Again, this is just showing you how to get around because there's a lot here you may not be aware of. But we can customize our ship over here. So uh, I am a ship tailor. I can help you change your ship. It's basically just telling you all the things you can do here. Again, you don't have to do this, but let's go in here and do it anyway. Um, we got the Talis. That's all you can do. You can change, you know, the the skin on it or whatever. Um, advanced, you can change, and really, there's you can add the uh, the wings to it. I love those old TOS like wing designs on there add a pattern if you want change colors around but let's just uh, go ahead and take that now we go speak with the tan himself Remember, your objective locations can also be found on your compass as well as your mini map so now we'll go do the tan we'll talk to him I think that'll get us to the end of the exploring the flotilla yeah so we'll call this still part of the tutorial here. here Hello again. Now that you're settling in, I wanted to speak with you about what our overall goals will be. First and foremost, we are looking for a new planet to call home. Tamer and his crew are handling that search. While the search continues, I am working on any possible alliances that we can make with the Federation and the Klingon Empire. We will need allies if we are to proceed. Your task will be the protection and recovery of other Romulans spread throughout this sector. Are there many other colonists? We are finding Colonies. more by the day. Some have already joined us, but others do not believe in our cause. It will be up to you and your crew to protect these colonies from the Tal Shiar and to recruit anyone willing to assist us. Do you have any questions? If not, I would suggest you return to your ship Tamer will have his orders ready for you. So we can just go straight to our ship here, but we can ask some questions. Will an alliance with the Federation and Klingons work? I do not know. Our history of deception with both groups definitely does not help. The Tal Shiar, however, will not attack the fleet for now. Sela would see such a direct action as too great a risk. She much prefers to work in the shadows. Let me worry about our potential allies. While you're away, I will be working with diplomats from both sides to come to an agreement we can all live with. Has Tamer found any suitable planets? Not yet. He and his crew have been assisting Romulan colonies throughout the region, and he has not been able to focus his efforts on the search. With you here, however, Tamer's mission to find a new homeworld can begin. He will be sending scout ships to analyze nearby planets. We'd prefer to find a suitable world in this sector, but we'll expand our search if we need to do so. All right, so very well. I'll head back to my ship. I mean, that's Sounds it. like we've got our orders. If you're ready, I can beam you back to the ship. However, before that, I need to ask a favor. I have a sister. Her name is Rena Kev. She and I were separated a long time ago. I want to try to find her. As we're doing our missions, could you try to ask about Rena? Thanks. So this is this is going to be an ongoing thread in the storyline. I like this. It's almost like a side quest. You can think of it like that. But this is an ongoing storyline thread in the Romulan faction. As you play through, yeah, you can ask questions about Rena, his sister, and maybe find out where she's at. Um, so you can say here, I'll do what I can, beam me back to the ship, or I'll, I'll do what I can, but don't beam me back just yet. Let's choose that option right now. Um, so yeah, basically it wants you to go to sector space to actually complete this, but you don't have to. So right now, what you could do, instead of going to sector space to complete the tutorial, you could actually spend some time here in the flotilla and, um, you know, talk to everyone and interact with the consoles, go to your bank if you need to, your mail, go back to customizing your starship if you need to do more stuff there. Uh, there's mail there. The exchange is somewhere. I don't know where it's at. Um, but there's all kinds of stuff on this flotilla you can actually go to and do. You can spend more time in the character creation screen. You can recruit bridge officers. This is just like the Academy, basically, or Earth Space Dock. 
you get to do um, all these things train your bridge officers so you can do stuff here customize your clothing just all kinds of crap here um, this is basically your home base for a little while this is your earth space dock your first city your um, whatever this is your home base for a while until you align yourself with something else uh, but let's go ahead and go to sector space sounds like we've got our orders if you're ready tutorial most missions can be turned in remotely click the icon next to the mission to report to the contact and turn in the mission right so now we we have basically finished all of that we can turn this in we are now all done. set to go I trust good there is a lot to do your first target is already under attack by the Tal Shiar. There's no time to lose. Gonna get some plasma beam arrays, Mark II, a plasma turret, battery Greetings. pack. Congratulations. Congratulations. There we go. Just earned your first skill point. Click <laughs> here to learn more. Now you know the game has really begun. The tutorial is now completely over, and we're at the place where we can do our first missionings. That is definitely the sign of that. So you've just earned your first skill point. Skills will increase your skill your points. You can add point. everything. We're not going to go through all that right now. All that is part of your gaming experience, obviously, for each faction. But basically, that's the end of the tutorial. Tutorial over. And uh, it looks like it took about an hour and six minutes here. Um, that was with me reading all the dialogue. So that's about what the length you can expect. About an hour if you read through all the dialogue and take your time. If you just rush through this, I mean, you can get it done in 30 minutes or less. But, um, yeah, about an hour if you want to, you know, really get into the storyline and take your time with the tutorial. That's what that took there. But we are now at the flotilla. We can always go back to the flotilla. Uh, there it is right here, the Romulan flotilla. And it's in sector space. It is right over here in this area. So you can always come back. This is your home base. This is where you're going to come for a short period of time until you align yourself with either the Federation or KDF. Yes, the Romulan faction is very different from the two others, the KDF or the Starfleet, because with the Romulan faction, you will have to align yourself with either the Federation Starfleet or the KDF. And you do that after your first set of uh, from the Ashes missions. You'll come to this thing called Neutral No More. And when you get to that mission, you have to align yourself with Federation or KDF. And then you will get your, you will get all of either the Federation Starfleet missions or either or all of the KDF missions, depending which one you align with. Until then, you get these unique Romulan missions that only the Romulan faction has, but you'll notice there's not many of them. The Helix is the first mission. Then you have this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then this one, and then you get to align yourself. And you are you have to. You do not have a choice. You have to align yourself. You're still with the Romulan Republic, but you're aligned with all the Federation or all the KDF. And that's one thing about the Romulan faction that I don't like is the fact that you have to do that because if you want to play a federation character just create a federation character if you want to play a kdf character just create a kdf character but with the romulan you can't just have a romulan character you have to be either on the starfleet side or the klingon side that i don't like i wish that the romulan faction would stay Romulan that you would you would just be the Romulan faction and that's it but you aren't um, I also wish it would give you the choice to maybe not align with the Republic at all wouldn't it be nice if you were able to be like a free Romulan just not aligned with any government faction that would be cool you know stay a Virnat colonist throughout the whole thing but then do the missions as that or wouldn't this be cool join the Tal Shiar I would love if this game had an option for you to align with the Tal Shiar. Give you that option. Wow, wouldn't wouldn't that have just made the Romulan faction so incredibly awesome? You could join the Republic, you could stay a free colonist, or you could join the Tal Shiar. Then you wouldn't need to align with the Starfleet faction or the KDF, and it solves that problem too. 
that's how I would do the Romulan faction. So it's too bad it doesn't have those options. Um, but that said, it's still fun playing the Romulan faction because you do have some unique missions to the Romulans that other factions don't. And it's just so cool playing as a Romulan anyway. Plus the Romulan ships are awesome. And you get this whole storyline with the Alachi. I can't say enough about the Romulan faction, actually. It's, it's fun to play as a Romulan. What can I say? Anyway, that was the tutorial. That is what you will get in the tutorial for 2020. You start off on a colony. You get to do, like, real-world tasks. Then all heck breaks loose. You, the Alachi come, and you have to escape and you do some ground combat, you do some space combat, you learn the controls, and then you join the flotilla. And that is where the game really starts, is once you join the flotilla, and the first mission there starts from that. And that's the tutorial for the Romulan faction. Pretty cool. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this series on playing the Star Trek Online tutorials in 2020. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like on the video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Check out Twitter at Brent underscore Justice for updates. You can follow me there. Also, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Brent Justice. This helps support the channel and also allows me to publish more and more videos.